डेंटिस्ट स्ट्रेट टू द पॉइंट दिस इज डॉक्टर ध्रुमिल मानिक सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ जनरल एनाटमी वी डिस्कस अबाउट ब्रेकियल प्लेक्सेस एंड इट्स ब्रांचेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मैंडबुलर नर्व व्हिच इज द थर्ड डिवीजन ऑफ ट्राइजेमिनल नर्व नाउ व्हाई एम आई मूविंग टू मैंडबुलर नर्व डायरेक्टली बिकॉज इट इज अगेन एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विथ रिगार्ड टू द final examination i'd also make videos on other two divisions of trigeminal nerve that is ophthalmic and maxillary division so firstly starting with the mandibular nerve then mandibular nerve is the largest mixed branch of trigeminal nerve i can say that that it is the largest mixed branch of trigeminal nerve it is the third division of trigeminal nerve so this mandibular nerve is going to originate now we we'll start from its course we'll discuss about its divisions this its three main divisions and the branches and these branches are going to supply where and which anatomical parts so firstly starting with the divisions of trigeminal nerve that is first division is ophthalmic division second is maxillary and third is mandibular division now this mandibular division of trigeminal nerve is going to begin as a large sensory root and small motor root this will start as a large sensory root over here after dividing from the main trigeminal nerve the large sensory root and small motor root will run along this both roots are going to run together and they'll pass through the foramen ovale from the foramen ovale it is going to come down and divide into three branch now three divisions i could say that is three divisions not three branches first will be the main trunk of mandibular now second is the anterior division which i have demarcated in green color and third is the posterior division that is in red color so you guys can easily demarcate all the three divisions the gray one is in the main trunk green one is the anterior division and red one is the posterior division of mandibular now so firstly after passing through the foramen ovale the main trunk is divided into three divisions we already know that that is the main trunk anterior division and posterior division now this anterior division is going to have two branches the and uh, sorry the main trunk is going to divide into two branches not not <coughs> not the anterior division but the main trunk main trunk is going to divide into two branches then the anterior division is again going to divide into four branches and the posterior division into three branches so first discussing about the main trunk it is having two branches the first branch which the main trunk is going to provide is the nervus spinosus now this is a meningeal branch first branch which is given it is nervus spinosus which is a meningeal branch second division which is going to come from the main trunk is the nerve to medial pterygoid now the name itself says that nerve to medial pterygoid but this nerve to medial pterygoid is also going to supply two more muscles apart from the muscle medial pterygoid so apart from medial pterygoid it is also going to supply tensor palatini and tensor tympani muscles which muscles tt and tp that is tensor tympani and tensor palatini so now now to medial pterygoid supplies in total three muscles medial pterygoid tensor palatini and tensor tympani and one was the meningeal branch that is nervus spinosus so these are the two branches of main trunk next moving on to the anterior division of mandibular nerve then this anterior division of mandibular nerve is going to give four branches the first branch is the mesenteric second is deep temporal third is nerve to lateral pterygoid and fourth is the buccal nerve that is the buccal branch of mandibular nerve now firstly the mesenteric nerve the name again says that it is going to supply the masseter muscle that is the muscles of mastication i hope you guys have watched my video on muscles of mastication that is on masseter and all three muscles i have made the video next is deep temporal that is going to supply the muscle temporalis now to lateral pterygoid again it is going to supply muscle lateral pterygoid and this is the buccal branch now this is the cutaneous branch of mandibular nerve this is the there are in total three cutaneous branches of mandibular nerve one is buccal nerve and second is mental now and third is auricular temporal now now these two we are going to study in further part of our video 
but first which is it is cutaneous that is buccal now now for mnemonic to remember the cutaneous branch of mandibular now there are three that is b a and m so b a m you can consider it as balm which is applied on the skin that is cutaneous so b a m it is easy to remember now buccal branch auricular temporal and third is mental branch now next these are the divisions of this is the branches of anterior division next moving on to the branches of posterior division now there are three branches of posterior division of mandibular now that is first one which we are going to discuss is lingual now second is inferior alveolar and third is auriculo temporal so firstly about the lingual now it is for the supply to the tongue or the lingual part mainly the general sensations of anterior two third of trunk anterior two third of tongue so lingual nerve is going to provide general sensations that is normal general sensations not the special sensations like taste or any other sensation only the general sensations from anterior two third of trunk are provided by lingual now i'll make another video on the nerve supply and the supply of tongue but for now lingual nerve is going to provide general sensation to the anterior two third of tongue now second branch which we are going to discuss is auricular temporal nerve auricular temporal i have already told you that this is a cutaneous branch of mandibular nerve the first was buccal nerve second is auricular temporal nerve now auricular temporal nerve is going to supply the four areas that is auricle superficial temporal articular branch of temporomandibular joint and secretomotor to the parotid gland now what does this secretomotor to parotid gland means that is it is going to help in secretion of saliva from the parotid gland it is going to provide impulses or stimulus for the parotid gland to secrete saliva so auricular temporal now again being the cutaneous branch of mandibular nerve will supply four that is auricular branch superficial temporal branch articular branch to temporomandibular joint and secretomotor to parotid next the third branch of posterior division is inferior alveolar nerve so inferior alveolar nerve is mainly for the lower teeth the mandibular teeth which are present from behind till the midline one side and midline from the other side so it is supplied by inferior alveolar nerve so inferior alveolar nerve before entering into the mandibular foramen this is a mandibular foramen it will enter into the mandibular foramen and again give two branches that is incisive and mental branch now mental branch again the third cutaneous branch of mandibular nerve and incisive branch is going to supply the inside the and mental branch is going to supply the skin or the cutaneous part of the chin that is the mental area of your mandible next the inferior alveolar nerve as i was saying that before entering into the mandibular foramen it is going to give a branch that is now to mylohyoid mylohyoid nerve is the branch given by inferior alveolar nerve before entering into the mandibular foramen so this branch will again supply two muscles firstly as the name suggests that now to mylohyoid means it is going to supply mylohyoid muscle along with mylohyoid muscle it is also giving a branch to anterior belly of digastric muscle also so in total now to mylohyoid is going to supply mylohyoid muscle and anterior belly of digastric so this was all about mandibular nerve now in last we will discuss that what are the eight muscles by which the mandibular nerve is supplied a mandibular nerve is supplying which eight muscles so first four muscles are the muscles of mastication that is mesenteric deep temporal lateral pterygoid and medial pterygoid so these are the four muscles of mastication mainly and the remaining four muscles which are supplied by mandibular nerve that is tensor tympani tensor palatini mylohyoid and anterior belly of digastric kaun si aath muscle ho gayi first four are the muscles of mastication and rest of the four are tensor tympani tensor palatini mylohyoid and anterior belly of digastric so this is the thing which you need to remember that which eight muscles is mandibular nerve supplying now mandibular nerve being the mean being the branch of first pharyngeal arch so it is going to supply all the derivatives of first pharyngeal 
arch. So we can also there are MCQ asks that medulla nerve is the branch of which arch? You can see that is the branch of first pharyngeal arch, and it is going to supply the derivatives of first pharyngeal arch solely. Next, there are three cutaneous branches. I have told you, B A M balm is the mnemonic. So it, for that, buccal now, auricular temporal now, and mental now. These are the three cutaneous branch of mandibular now. So I hope so you are clear with the anatomy and the branches of mandibular now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Then please like, share, and subscribe our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button so that you get the updates of our upcoming lectures. Thank you.